Hi, it's Maria here from Sweden, aka Planner Mother of Three. Please join me when I do my uh, planning for this this week. I made a video about that in very high speed and I will talk about it when I have finished. I think the video is about 10, 20 seconds, so stay tuned and I'll talk to you later. See you! Hi, welcome back. This is how it turned out, as you could see. Um, I was uh, focusing on these stickers, the flamingos and the pineapple stickers from the Happy Planner sticker book uh, called Floral Memories. And these are in memory keeping size. I started to think that I wanted to do something in yellow, yellow in, in the combination with bright pink and I thought that these two were very nice representing these two colors and then I went from there. Um, what you maybe saw was that I have made my own sticker books. I have cut down uh, like 20 or 25 different uh, sticker books into different themes because I am not that good in referencing what kind of sticker comes from what book uh, and I really would like to collect together the stickers with the same kind of theme instead of you know looking into t different sticker books for instance if I would like to um, find flowers for example, that was the the impulse that started my my um, my project in this. <clears throat> here it says flowers in Swedish, and here I have kept uh, all the stickers that are with the theme flower or nearby. Uh, these comes from the mm, what's the name of it? It was. Oh, I don't remember for the moment. Um, yeah, it will come back. I just can't find the, the name of it right now. Um, <clears throat> but mainly flowers and then some other things that are, you know, in the same, in the same area. As you could see, I keep, I still have, for instance, this one with plenty of flowers. So one day when it's raining outside, I will open these and I will start doing a new s sorting or you know piling um, in different themes within the theme and then I will take the last two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty sticker books that I haven't done the same uh, work with yet I have different themes I call this one blocks so these are different blocks, different squares with the different either words or or uh, or different patterns, illustrations. I have one that is called boxes. These are the ones where I can write in. And and as you can see, there are plenty of them. And then I have another one called quotes. And I am very aware of, for instance, that we have a lot of quotes here, but these are more explicit quotes. The ones that I think about quotes, they are not written in boxes, they are written on this uh, uh, invisible plastic or with paper. So here they are. And then I have one that I call the season so here I will gather every season from January till December Christmas summer spring Easter whatever and I know that I have a lot of stickers of these in the remaining books that I haven't opened yet 
and here I call them accents and that's not the right word in English but these are symbols or illustrations that will you know enlighten what I've been doing uh, so here you have a lot of different things that I can use in my calendar for the Hobonichi for instance and here I have gathered the ones that I call illustrations as you can see and here are more stickers for the calendar these are more like remember to do uh, small sayings that fit perfectly well for the Hobonichi calendar and here are the to do's to do's in different lists, boxes, schedules, whatever I think this works pretty well but uh, I won't be able to reference and say what the sticker comes from so that's the downsize uh, I could have written the name of the sticker book for every page but no that would take too much of my time so I decided not to do that anyway so that was just a something that I thought that I was going to show you um, yeah so um, this happy planner spread I wanted to make it very happy I have had a couple of days of anxiety that came from nowhere I think it's uh, typical you know when you go on vacation and you start to relax and the system can relax and then you have all these different chemicals and and things in your body that aren't in balance um, so that's why and I think I have also some some things are happening this week that I'm not really I don't feel that hundred percent about that so I have and these that starts on Thursday I may talk about that later this week so what I did here was to uh, rem remember myself on choose joy to make this the best day ever that I love it that it's a happy day so I thought that this would be you know my my mental board of what I would like to feel and to remember uh, for these days um, and here are more of the planning we, we don't have that many plans for the moment except for some things are happening today tomorrow and on Wednesday our son is coming back to Stockholm we haven't seen him for six months maybe yay uh, we're very happy for that so uh, the, this moment is all there is a reminder of living in the now and not being afraid or anxious about the future because we don't know anything about that and being happy in that kind of state you know with a mindset that i don't know anything about the the future so i might well be happy right now and not be anxious about not knowing if you know what I mean what I did uh, then I thought that I would have one square one box where I can write at least one box where I can write so here I'm right I've written about the day and here also about tomorrow I can write some things here here I can write write here and here I can write I can write here I can write here I can write there and there and there and there and there uh, I think that's that will be enough uh, I'm using other planners for more of journaling in in the full term with a lot of writing and symbols and so forth this is more of a the time for me where I can just you know enjoy the colors and the stickers so I am very happy um, about th this spread and I am very glad that you are watching and I hope seeing you soon. If you like what you've seen please give me a thumbs up uh, and if you want to subscribe please please push on the button uh, where it says subscribe and uh, I hope seeing you soon. You can find me at Instagram where my name is planner underscore mother of three. Take care. Bye-bye.